What is up, Stackin' Ohana? This is Aloha Stacker, and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Uh, in today's video, we are showing off some new Libertads and one really extra special one that I cannot wait to show you all, and I can't wait to look at it myself, to be honest, because I've left it in the box waiting to open. But uh, before we get started, I wanted to uh, do a shout out for a big uh, group of channels that are doing a ga, and they're good friends of ours. And uh, I wanted to make sure you all knew that it was going on. I'm going to put a link in the description to all the channels. So check it out. They're giving away tons of stuff. And uh, it's with Silver Scorpion, Hydrag Dad, Chief Stacker, Jonathan Reese, Bionic Bull 88, Legit Sir Noobs, M Mo Money Inc., and Plumber Stacker. And now they've all gotten together and created this massive GA. So uh, take a look at the link in the description. Check out their channels and check out the multi-channel GA. It is, it is pretty awesome. It's pretty epic. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of pieces of channel mail, as I always do right before we get started. And the first one I got is from our friend Jamvan. So he says, hello, Aloha Stacker. I sent out a silver half franc, a casino token, and two fridge magnets for my podcast channel. I love the videos and learning about many different parts of history. Sincerely, Jamvan. P.S. Dale Wilson says hello. So hello to you too, my friend Dale Wilson, and to you, Jamvan. And here are the magnets that he... Uh, so this is his other channel, the Palaver Digital, and I'll put a link in the description to Palaver Digital, two little magnets for the refrigerator. Thank you, my friend. We'll drop those there for a second. Uh, he sent me this casino magnet, so we'll go ahead and zoom that in, and it's uh, Frontier Hotel Blackjacks. Free room. It's a phone number, no cash value. Now, this is, uh, it's metal, but it's pretty light. It's a pretty light piece of metal, or it's maybe aluminum, maybe? Uh, Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall. Las Vegas, Nevada, no cash value. This is not silver by any means. Let me see. Is it... it is, well, it's semi-magnetic. So I can, if you put it on the slide right here, let's go ahead and zoom out. If we put it on the slide, it does slide slow. It slides kind of slow like silver, but it is definitely not silver because it is not weighted that way. So I'm not sure what type of metal is in it. It could be aluminum. It could be uh, maybe some zinc in there. Who knows? But thank you for that. But the, but the really cool coin that he sent me was this one right here which is this 1961 Helvetia. That's a half franc from Sweden, or Switzerland, sorry. Half franc, 1961. And on this side, what we have is the standing Helvetia with lance and shield within a star border. And on this side, we have the wreath with the uh, value date, and it's inside the wreath. And this is a 0.0671 ounce of silver. It's 835 fine. It has a mintage of 6,906,000. So thank you for this awesome piece of silver, Jam Van. That is awesome. Now, moving on to the next piece of channel mail we have is from our friend, Sandman Coins and Collectibles. And Sandman writes, Aloha from the Atlantic side of the country. I really enjoy your videos and format. I'm a big supporter of promoting the hobby to the younger crowd. As a scout leader, I have become a marriage ba merit badge counselor for my local council to help promote the hobby. If one of the scouts shows a true interest, I'll pull together a grab bag of some extra, some of my extra stuff for them. Keep up the good work. Thanks for what you do. Sandman Coins and Collectibles. P.S. I included some cool stuff and I'm about to show you. So I'm not going to read what he sent because I'd rather just show you how cool that stuff actually is, what he sent me, because he sent me some pretty cool coins. Uh, but before we show the coins off, I wanted to show you his stickers. Uh, so he sent me two. Here they are right here. Clemson, Sandman Coins and Collectibles. Thank you very much. These will enter the sticker board. I will do a separate video eventually of my sticker little collage uh, that I have set up. I have a sticker book, and it's pretty cool. But what did he send me? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead, and we're going to go hit our zoom. And we're going to show off the first coin he sent me, and that is a 1917 Lincoln cent. That is a wheat penny or wheat cent. And in 1917, they minted 196,429,785 of these bad boys. So not rare by any standards, but old. This thing is 104 years old, so that is neat. Next, he sent me also a 1918 Lincoln cent wheat penny. Right there, wheat cent. And this had a mintage of 288,104,634. Not rare also, but a 103-year-old 103 year old coin. That is pretty cool. Uh, third, he sent me a 1919, and the 1919 had a mintage of 392,021,000, so the most minted of the three. Uh, this one is 102 years old, so very cool. I'm holding three coin. I'm holding three cents in my hand that are each over 100 years old. That is just something just weird to think about. Where have these Where have these cents been? What have they seen? Who's held them? 
you know, you never know this stuff. And it's just so cool to think about. So thank you very much, uh, Sandman. And there's one more really special coin he sent me. And I think this is really cool. He sent me a silver 1944 Denver war nickel. 35% silver, mintage of 32,309,000. And this thing is brilliant uncirculated. So this is beautiful. This is a beautiful specimen, and uh, I do like my war nickels. I have no complaint against them. I think they're pretty cool little fractional silver pieces, and uh, this one is just probably the most the most beautiful one that I have. I might actually have to throw this into a book maybe. So we'll see. But thank you very much. That is an awesome gift. I really appreciate it. And go ahead and check out both Jamvan and uh, Sandman Coins and Collectibles. And uh, I'll put links in the description, of course, to their stuff. But let me go ahead and get clear the, t clear the desk, and we will move on to... Libertad's. <laughs> the excitement is kicking in. So the first Libertad is what we got here is from our friend T, the Silver Stacker. Now T and I did a silver trade. He had a year I needed, I had a year he needed. So we went ahead and did the swap. So here's the thing. Let me go ahead and pull out the So I sent him a 2008 Libertad and he turned around and sent me a 2010 Libertad. So let's go ahead and zoom that in. So there is a beautiful specimen of a 2010 that I did not have, which I do now have. That is beautiful. There's a little bit of cool toning down in the uh, southern regions of the coin. But that is an absolute stunner. Uh, a beautiful Libertad. Got some more toning on the back. I like the toning. I, I, don't, I don't complain. These are bullion coins to me. I, I don't mind touching them. I, these are going in. This is going to go in the book. This is for the book. So as all, you all know, I did my first live stream yesterday to test it out and practice it. And... Uh, well, not yesterday, it was Wednesday, so this will be Friday when this comes out. But for me, it's still yesterday. <laughs> but uh, but uh, uh, so far, the voting on the community tab says we're going to fill we're gonna fill a Libertad book next Wednesday. So this is definitely going to be going in it. And as you know, there's the book right there. So it's all ready to go. And this is the first, this is going to be one of the first coins to go into it. So 2010 Libertad, mintage, 1 million. So one million of these were made. I own one of them. So now there's 999,999 belonging to other people. <laughs> so let me go ahead. And, and now I have one more Libertad that I was able to acquire for the book that I wanted to show off. And that is this one right here. This is a 2012. I was able to pick this up from Atmex when they were having a sale on that specific year. So the 200, the 2012 Mexican Libertad has a mintage of 746,400. So let's go ahead and cut this open and see it without the plastic wrap on it because this is also destined for the book. And this will be going into the book on uh, next Wednesday as well. And I'll be doing that in the presence of all you who come join the live stream. I'm still gonna figure out the time for that, but I will post it on the community tab at least a day ahead of time so you all know what time I'm gonna plan to go live. But here is that one. This one has no, I don't see any major toning on this. It just looks like it's a BU. Uh, there's some scratches on it, so bullion coin, no big deal. This is destined for the book, so that's a 2012 and a 2010. So two brand new Libertads ready to go to the book. Very cool. It seems like the 2010's got like some antique -y, natural antique toning to it, right? Is it just me? But it's not antiqued. I mean, it's definitely just a uh, definitely just the regular one. So we'll go ahead and let me go ahead and put that here, put that here, so you can all enjoy the beauty now. Here's where the fun begins, everybody. This is the one. Now, I couldn't help myself. I uh, saw this deal, and I actually got to thank Silverado in the UK because he sent me a text, or he sent me a message on Instagram, and he said, hey, I don't know if you know this, but I was looking at this. Is this a good deal? And I said, uh, it looked kind of pricey where he was looking at it at, but I was able to find the same exact one on LPM, and I had a discount coupon for LPM, so I went ahead and bought it. And here it is right here. Here is the box. Libertad. One kilo in this beautiful box. Now, I'm surprised nobody mentioned this yesterday because this was sitting on top of the, uh, on top of the Dansko. And you could see Banco de Mexico, but nobody actually brought up that they noticed that, which is kind of funny, but hey, I got no, not, I'm not complaining about that. That's for sure. I wanted, I wanted to keep it a secret anyway, and now it's here. So here is the box. So how about you say, you guys ready to go inside and see what's inside? Oh man, oof, 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 there, oof. This isn't just any Libertad, my friends. This is not just any Kilo Libertad. Look at that, it's inside some plastic rack. Let me go ahead and pull this box out because it looks like we have a gorgeous out inner box to the outer box, and here it is inside the plastic. So let's go ahead and pull it out of that, and we'll move on. Look at that, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at this wooden box. It's just gorgeous. This wood, oh man. 
absolutely gorgeous. So let me see if I can readjust a little bit so we can focus more in on the Libertad. There we go. How's that look, everybody? I think that looks pretty tight. Let me back up the camera. There we go. Beautiful. Now, as you know, we've got the, we've got the, uh, let me move this out of the way. We've got the, my normal one kilo right here. Now this is just a standard 2015 kilo Libertad. This was my very first one, or my, my only one, my very first one. <laughs> it's funny. So we'll go ahead and put that back. You guys know all about that one. You see it in the background all the time, but I'm telling you, this one is going to blow your mind because it, blew, <laughs> because it's going to be pretty amazing. All right, let's go. Let's go in. We're going in, everybody. Here we go. Oh, but we can't see anything yet. Oh, but the box is open. Let's see what we got before we show off this beauty. So we got ourselves a book. It says Libertad, one kilo plata pura, or pure silver. Let's see what we've got going on inside. Okay, here we go. One kilo, it looks like we got a diameter of 110 millimeters and the quality is reverse proof, milled edge. The Mexican official seal surrounded by the reproduction of different designs and eagles used as Mexican official seals throughout the history of our country is what it says about the obverse. Now the reverse, it says lateral view of the wing liberty with the Popocatepel and the it's got Sitohatol <laughs> volcanoes in the background. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, looks like we've got serial number 421. Now this, well, well, we'll get into the mintage later. So let's go ahead and take a look at the book because this book is pretty cool. Now, I would read this whole thing, but we'd be here probably for 20, 30 minutes. I don't think we need to spend that much time. Basically, uh, this book has a nice little history, uh, the brief story of the Libertad series. And uh, we can talk about this on a different one. I could read this on a different video. We could talk about it in a live stream if you want me to read it or just put it up and you can, you, or you can pause it. I'll do each page like this so you can pause it and then check it out later. Uh, 1921, or there's, the, uh, there's the one that I've showed off in my first Libertad video. I'll put a link. I'll put a link to that video at the end of the video. At the end, uh, you got the series Libertads here. So let me see. Let me see if I can zoom us in a, just a little bit so we can show that off. Okay. So you got the silver centenary. Now that was the first time we saw the Wing Liberty on the coin. Then uh, the 1982 silver Libertad showed up, and then 1991 they added all the uh, denominations. And then we changed in 1996, they changed the, to the current, what we see today. So very cool. Let's see, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and move this nice and slowly. So if you want to pause it and read it on your own, I want to make sure you guys all get all the data. So that is neat. Let's go ahead. The independence movement, we got all the data. Now I know I've talked about this in previous videos, so I don't need to go into it all in depth. So if you want to see this, just slow the video down or just pause it and read each section. Okay, so here is, so, oh, there we go. It's a one, a 2018. And that's where we talk about the, oh, that's in Spanish. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So there's the, uh, there's the obverse information and the reverse information. Now, I think I read that already, but this is basically what we're looking at right here. So front and back. And then here's a, here's the information about all the different uh, seals of the eagles. So there's that one. Eagle of the First Empire, Eagle of the First Republic. We've got uh, Eagle in the coins issued by Regional Mints. Uh, the, Porfir the Porfirian Eagle or Centenary Eagle. Eagle in coins and elusive to the Independent cent Centenary. Eagle in the Aztec coin. And we keep going. We've got the Eagle in the Silver Centenario. We've got the new design for the Eagle profile and the Contemporary Eagle from 1955 on and then the present Mexican official seal. And I think that's what's in the center, so. And then there's a little bit of your thing about coin minting. I'm gonna back this up just, I'm gonna zoom back out real fast just so you can see that there's just a little bit more information. So I'll bring this up close so you can pause and read. So that is cool. The art of the engraving. So it just talks about how they do the engraving process. And now there's some pictures, you got design. Paintograph looks like where they do the stamping. So that is pretty cool. This book is really neat. This is a really neat book. And then it looks like we've got uh, minting, how they do the minting. So yeah, please, uh, if you want to slow down or do this at your own pace, please do. I just want to, I don't want to waste too much time on the video with uh, too much literature. 
but it is cool. They provide so much information here. It's just absolutely fantastic. And then you just have your designers and uh, names and printers and, and then you got your, that's pretty neat. Look at that. So that is a beautiful book. So let's get to the coin, shall we? Let's remove this and look at this. Uh, let me see if I can, how do I get this out of here? <laughs> so I get out of here so I can show it to you all. So it's in this beautiful, beautiful metal box. But let's go ahead. If I zoom, is it going to be too, well, we'll zoom it first. We'll zoom out. Look at this. One kilo of beautiful pure silver. Reverse proof kilo Mexican Libertad. Now, they only made 2,100 of these in 2018. And I got myself one of them. There's the, uh, you got the reeded edge. And then we flip it to the reverse and we will take a look at the uh, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. We got the eagle and the snake, the current one, and then all the other ones wrapping all the way around the coin. Man, I wish they would do the old style in a kilo. That would just be awesome. If you think that would be awesome, let me know in the in the comments. If you think that it would be awesome if they would do a kilo of the old style Libertad of the 1982. So, okay, so since it's so zoomed in now, let's go ahead and zoom out because this thing is pretty immense. So how does this look compared to the other kilo? That's a good question, right? I think that's a great question. Let's take a look and see the kilos side by side. Reverse proof, normal. Two kilos of pure Mexican silver right here. Oh man, I'm in awe. I am in awe. I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> I can't believe I bought this. Oh my God. Let me flip these over real fast so we can do the, the other side. Oop. Oh man, that is just, that is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Uh, let me know what you think in, in the comments. Uh, I imagine you're just as in awe as I am just holding two kilos of Mexican silver in my hand. It's so heavy. So we've got regular kilo. We've got reverse proof kilo. And now... There we go. That's actually a good way to do it so I don't have to physically uh, try to balance it on my hand. But that is it, my friends. That is the surprise and I've been waiting. I have had this sitting on my desk, hidden away for quite some time, waiting for a couple things to come in just so I could do this video to show it off to all of you. So I hope you like it. I really do. And with that, uh, that's all I got for you for today. I hope that's just, <laughs> I hope that's enough. But uh, very beautiful, very beautiful uh, indeed. <laughs> So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So I will see you on Sunday with my week 21 $10 week challenge. And that will be my last of actually my Canadian Silver Dollar Series. So with that, I'm going to say aloha and mahalo.